Hello, and today we're making a craft using uh, the pre-making technique and also including the pop art movement in this uh, piece. So what I did today is I cut a piece of cardboard and then uh, use bubble wrap, roll ink on the bubble wrap and lay it on the cardboard and print it like, like you see here. The idea was to create the bend day dots effects on the cardboard. Then we're gonna cut a few speech bubbles or a thought bubble and in each you can write an onomatopoeia word or a hello phrase or anything you like. And again, onomatopoeia means a word that means a sound. You'll need a piece of cardboard, four by seven inch color paper, piece of bubble wrap, same size as the cardboard, water soluble block printing ink, palette knife, inking plate, sprayer or wooden spoon, scissors, markers and crayons, also tape or glue stick. Okay, so let's begin the craft. Use the palette knife and apply ink to the inking plate and with a brayer rolled in in multiple directions until you get an even coat. Then go over with the brayer onto the bubble wrap with bubbles facing up until you cover the whole piece with ink. Carefully peel the bubble wrap with cardboard and you should notice the printed dots that have transferred from the bubble wrap onto the cardboard. So the idea here again is to get bende dots effect on the cardboard. Allow the cardboard to print to completely dry. Draw a speech bubble, thought bubble or a zigzag shape using two or three contrasting color papers for the background and cut through the pieces of paper to make a shadow effect. In one of your shapes, with marker or crayon, write an onomatopoeia word or phrase. Again, onomatopoeia means a word that makes a sound or that describes a sound. Also, I want to add that Bende dots were invented by Benjamin Henry Day Jr., who was a printer and illustrator in the late 1800s. Later, in the 1960s, American pop artist Roy Lichtenstein began using Bende dots in his paintings that were inspired by comic strips. After this, place the two or three shapes to overlap to create that shadow effect and glue everything down. Hope you enjoy making these art projects and don't forget to check out our collection of art books at www.mysapple.org. Thanks for watching.